Central Park's real estate was never conducive to a plan like Rink's. Central Park's real estate was never conducive to a plan like Rink's. Frederick Law Olmsted and Calvert Foxy's winning design was a direct contrast to Rink's. Rink's plans were a nod to Victorian design and verse sales. A pathway cut the reservoir in half. A pathway cut the reservoir in half. A two-wing museum was to be placed around the reservoir. A two-wing museum was to be placed around the reservoir. The grounds were heavily detailed down to the names. The grounds were heavily detailed down to the names. Rick's Park featured geometric paths and an abundance of topiaries. Rink's design was perfectly manicured, almost obsessively so. Rather than opting for a park where nature could run its course and grow wild, the plans were filled with hundreds and hundreds of topiaries laid out in a very calculated, geometric design. Today, historians locate Rink's plan in the Victorian tradition of highly stylized, ornamented landscapes. The Parade Ground John Rink's idea for Central Park had just a single open space, the Parade Ground. This area, which would have either been dirt, concrete, or very short grass, rested next to the reservoir. It would have been an ideal place for outdoor events, including concerts and fairs. Today, that area is teeming with winding paths, tennis courts, and a police station. In Rink's plan, the park was totally devoid of open green spaces. Central Park is known for being a sweeping patch of nature that contrasts with the metal and concrete of Manhattan's streets and skyscrapers. This patch of serenity includes various meadows and gardens, including the East Meadow, the North Meadow, the Great Hill, the Great Lawn, and the Conservatory Garden. These large fields of grass and open spaces were non-existent in Rink's plan. The only open space was the parade ground. John Rink's plan was almost lost forever. John Rink's plan for Central Park didn't win the 1857 design competition. It was overlooked and discarded. From there, it went missing for decades until it was discovered in an attic in 2008. As of 2017, the 8-1-2 foot long design was on display at the New York Historical Society. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.